the freshness, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I know, it's quite cute, huh? <laughs> it's like, oh. Sophistication, hmm? Uh, hey everyone, uh, Kim here from Reimagined by KTO Designs. I mean, obviously that's why you're, you're watching. Um. <laughs> Last week, um, I didn't really do much of a, a vlog per se, but it was my way of releasing um, my new jewellery line that's been, uh, I guess, out so far. Um, and uh, so like, that was a kind of like trailer I wanted to do. Um, I didn't want to sort of comment at the end of it because I, I just kind of wanted to sort of, I don't know, like do a separate video for that. Just have like, it's just because it's the whole like cinematic build up of all, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I'm just kind of like a bit, I, I don't know, it's, I'm arty like that, I guess, I don't know, I, sorry. Yeah, so that was a trailer, I hope you guys liked it. Today, um, I wanted to do a unboxing of um, my jewellery again, because I wanted to sort of like demonstrate like how it's worn and how like it's used, um, and like how you can use like maybe the website. Um, so, first, uh, let, let's just uh, get right into it and do this like unboxing I guess. Our first box we have, um, so if you, when you go on the website, um, and like I'll do a screen capture of the website here, um, what you'll see is you'll get like, you know, all these like pieces of uh, jewellery and it'll come in like a box like this. Um, and you know, I'll put like, you know, my, my business card on of course. Um, so it comes in a box like this and then you open it and it looks like this, I don't know. Um, open it and then, you know, you, we've got like our, um, uh, what you call it, furry scented brooch. Um, and it's made of like, um, laser cut wood, I think this is MDF, um, or actually it's ply, it's ply, sorry, it's plywood. Yeah, this is what it looks like up close, I don't know if you can see it, is it kind of... There we go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can get see the details. So what this is, it's like like flowers I took in the park that you've seen in the trailer. Um, and I kind of wanted to put a more of a feeling towards it so that you can, you know, I don't know, I like kind of, it, it, I mean, I'd like to say it feels like flowers, but I, you know, when it has a scent, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll smell like flowers, I guess. Um, but I've kind of made this thing where like, it's, in my mind, I wanted it to have the smell because I want to incorporate smell so that it can have this like long lasting um, memory trigger. Um, and that's the whole purpose of it all. It's like, you know, you smell it and then it reminds you of a certain time. And it's nice to have something that has this kind of like nostalgia, you know, you're like, you know, this reminds me of a time where I, you know, maybe proposed to like, my girlfriend or you propose to like yeah I don't know or, or like you propose to your boyfriend or I don't know girls can girl, girls can propose to their girlfriend or boyfriend right I mean if you're talking about traditional yeah you, they can propose to their boyfriend yeah yeah okay yeah but some people don't like smell and it gives them a headache so it's you know I deliberately made it on the site so it can be optional um just because I'm, I'm aware and I did the research and I know but if people want to like you know to shop the vision, it's fine, you know? I am, who am I to tell people what to do? But also it's a uh, silver, it's like stainless, um, sorry, sterling silver. Um, and uh, yeah, you've got the, the back of it, it's quite nice as well. Like, it kind of goes in a circle. Not a lot of people will show you what the back looks like. Um, so yeah, the back's kind of like, it's like a double barrel kind of thing. Um, I like it like that, it keeps it like secure. Um, and then like, it has like a spring as well, so like, you know. Yeah, okay. This is why I wanted to do these videos because sometimes when you go onto like jewellery sites, um, I think that it kind of, you don't really get to feel of it. You don't really know, uh, not just jewellery sites actually, like just general clothes sites. You don't really see what it looks like on, um, or yeah, like, or just how it fits. Cause, and like sometimes I buy from like sites and you know, the quality is a bit shit, no, no offense. Like it is because it's like, you know, it looks, it looks kind of like, kind of big and cozy, as if I'm talking about like a, a t-shirt or a jumper. And then you get it and it feels like foam or like really thin. So <clears throat> this is why I wanted to show you guys. 
you know, the process, I guess. So in my last collection, uh, I called it like the ready-mades. Um, and if you're new, um, then you uh, you don't maybe know what my last collection was. So uh, again, like going to K2 Designs, you'll kind of see what I did, but there's a few that's been taken down. But yeah, I made ready-mades that kind of look like this. I put some screenshots of them here. Um, and yeah, like it was just kind of like, like uh, brooches that were essentially ready-made because the collection I have now um, and also in the past you can design your own brooch and you can add bits and pieces to it so this is just pre-made ones that I kind of put together um, so that was that collection um, and it was about being playful and it was about you know again the same thing being reminiscent in the park and um, but it was just the colours that I used was very like you know were bright and reminiscent and this collection is about you know summer blues and it's about having the summer but also that ha you know because we're in the coronavirus a setting everyone has this uncertainty this anxiety so it's just a, it's just a collection to let people know that it's still the summer and we can look at this collection uh, with kind of a sense of relaxation because it's all full of blues and blues makes us feel like like holiday and looks look, it looks like the sea and um, it just it, it brings a sense of calmness so uh, this is my ready-made brooch that I've made and again it's like in the park but it's more of a playful kind of park and it looks something like this you can see and so it's it's also kind of like a fuzzy memory as well because it's like um, it's like a swing but you can't really make out that it's a swing because it's deliberately so that you can like actually look into it because sometimes it's clear but it's just something nice to be like what is that it's like that aspect of like what what is it so um yeah i just kind of like the idea and also a lot of people actually have said to me in the past that um, my pieces look like maps yeah okay it's a conversation. If it looks like something that it looks like something, like no one says, you know, what it is. If if you believe it looks like a map, then it's a map, okay? It has this nice contour. Um, I use brass and silver, and um, yeah, the back. This is the back. Um, yeah, and it's just again stainless silver, uh, stainless steel backing, uh, sterling silver, uh, and it, these pieces kind of move as well. Um, yeah, if you wanted to jiggle it around, um, you could like wear it here and then just like, you know, if you felt a bit nervous, just like you go into that job interview and then you're just like, mm, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you can wear brooches in job interviews, you know, I think it's fine, it's smart, it's it's quite um, a little bit statementy, but like, it will get you noticed, you're like, I'm going to hire that girl who wore that big ass brooch, like, it's so interesting, like, she had something to say. And then you talk about it, and it gets rid of the jitters actually. Do you know what? Wear a brooch every time you go to a job interview. Sophistication. Mm -hmm. Our next box opening is again it's the same kind of nice blue box packaging. Um, you will also receive, I think I mentioned this, my business card, um, which I don't have one on me just now, but it's the same as the logo that you have, you know, at the top. It's, it's exactly the same, right? But it'll just, you'll have the logo and then. Um, and then it opens, it's like, it looks like a pizza box, like I'm essentially like, hey. <laughs> but yeah, again, so you've got um, a nice little brooch and it's very like, in its blueness. Um, and you know, it has, this one's different. This one's actually like, it's more tactile. So this will have like, it's fuzzy. Like it's got this like nice kind of fuzzy feeling. Um, you can see up close. See, it's, it's, it's got, it's got fur, like there, see? There we go, that's nice, right, okay. Um, but yeah, and it's just, again, we can impregnate some, you know, scent in here, vanilla, lavender, any scent that you would like that, you know, it makes you feel something, you know? A day at the beach, you know, vanilla, ice cream. And uh, yeah, I just, this is one of the ready-mades that I've, I actually do like. Um, I mean, I like them all, but this one I really like just because I've used so many blues and it's just, you need know, to look at it and then instantly you're just like, yum. Even if you don't want it for like a brooch, you know, you could even like hang it up in your wall, you know, you, you could get it framed, you know, it's all like, the, the, the world's your oyster, like, but it's just, yeah, 
just so pretty and this is also up for grabs um, and my website um, www.ktodesigns.com It's made of all of these is MDF, it's laser cut, it's spray painted to death <laughs> um, and uh, there's, um, I use like, this is again like brass, this is the back of it This is nylon as well, just in case nylon like fibres, just in case people are allergic to, you know, nylon, sometimes there's a thing about that. It's just so satisfying, honestly, like to just have this and just like, it just feels nice, it's like stroking your cat. These uh, ready-mades are like limited edition, so like, um, I should probably say that, so I've only like made, I only make like a set amount, I think like just so that like, you know, when someone buys this one, like that's it, like I'm just gonna make the one. But if people actually demand, like leave it in the comments, if you want me to make more of these, I will. But uh, just now there's just like one, so it's up for grabs. <laughs> I've made three um, ready-mades in this series, um, or three extra ones because the last ones. Um, and so this is the last one and it's kind of similar, but it's a bit more like playful I think. It goes on like this. I think it's really nice because it's got this kind of like space so you can like you wear it with anything right like and it ha your clothes like pop out of it or something and or you could just like have it and it kind of goes into the grooves of your fingers kind of thing <laughs> or like okay this is extreme right but like if you're getting mugged you take it off and you're just like bam bam bam. <laughs> MDF laser cut wood and what this is I mean like it's quite recognizable it's like a swing park um, with brass, a brass kind of frame here. I know, I really like it, like, so you can literally put your hand in and it's quite nice. Like, I'm showing you what the scale is as well, like, you know? And it's, it goes with anything, honestly, you can put it with anything. It doesn't have to be a blue shirt that you're wearing. Um, and here is also a nice wee furry thing. It's like furry nostalgia. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just really nice. The back of it's kind of like this as well. Like swing parks are quite universal, you know, as a kid. You look at this and you maybe want to go to a play park or, you know, maybe you're remembering like your childhood and, oh, maybe as well if you met like your first love on the swings, oh, buy this because that would be so cute. Oh, oh my God, if, if there's any lovers that's been like, they met each other on the swings, please leave it in the comments below, that's so cute. And then you, you get this and then, like for your anniversary or something like that and you're like oh my god we met each other on the swings and then you can put like a scent in here and it like you could be like oh this scent reminds me of that day that we met on the swings oh on my website we have a section that's called like you you know you've got collection and then you've got make your own brooch um and at the time i had brooches actually i'll show you one of the brooches that i had and this is also still available so if you guys want to purchase uh, make a brooch then you can as well so that's also available in that section if you are ordering a brooch um, or a neck piece then you can also it also come in like sorry, a, a box like this so it's like a kind of double kind of it looks like a bento box in a way you've got like your box your you've got your your piece in here and then a section will have like different pieces on the site um, you know we always did like brooches, um, like build from you know build a brooch. Um, so now we have revolutionised that um, just for people who don't like brooches because I don't know why, but people associate brooches with old ladies, and that's just a terrible stigmatic thing because that's not the case. Brooches are cool. So we have ha we've got a, a new range of necklaces. Um, with the same kind of similar idea so you know here we have again I've, I'm obsessed with this like fuzzy stuff um, and yeah it's just kind of like like this kind of like it's like a floral I guess floral, floral, floral flower okay I guess um, and yeah again laser cut wood on plywood um, I can see that okay and it's fuzzy and has a scent it can be impregnated with a scent as well. Um, we have we have different scents actually. We've got strawberry, vanilla, um, oranges, coconut, um, blueberry, just like a lot. Um, I think we have as well like like she butter kind of smell. I don't like 
Yeah. Um, and uh, so it's like it kind of comes like this, and it's a sort. This is like um, a kind of wool, a wool kind of like, uh, like it's not wool wool, like sort of like you know knitting wool. Um, I mean, I guess you could use it, but it's like a more of a yarn. It's like a. It's, it's like it's yarn, it's yarn. It's a soft yarn wool thing, um, but it's yeah, it's really soft. It it won't like agitate your like neck or anything. Um, and the back of it is like a magnetic clip, so it kind of goes like like that. Oh, that that snap is so satisfying. Like okay, um, but to be honest, you can just like put it on your head if you wanted to. But yeah, just just be mindful that there is a magnetic clip. It's just really soft on, you know, it's just like it doesn't scratch. Like sometimes you've got chain, chain sticks to your hair when you're wearing it and you're just like, ow, and then next thing you know it, you've lost many strands of your hair. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just generally quite wearable. Um, and again, we have our silver frame and we've got like a little, you know, um, brass chip going on. I just, I like this vintage feel. I, I liked it. I don't know, like there's something quite nice about having like silver and brass. It's just to go with the whole collection to be honest, but it's just, I don't know, it looks nice. I don't know, there's something quite nice about it. It's, I like the wood grain on it. I don't know if I like, um, many people might like wood grain. I, I, I'm one of those people because I like nature and trees. You know, if you buy um, this brooch, no, this brooch, if you buy this necklace, um, you can also, like it's, it's optional, you don't have to, um, but it's just, if you want to be creative you can add uh things to this as well so you know i've these are all separate laser cut as well and it just kind of like clips on to um onto the, the holes we have like holes here so yeah, like not holes but like yeah like uh, rivets um like i do jewelry kim it kind of comes on and off because i used to use magnets before but i seen that when testing it like people would wear it and it just like flings off and it's like they spend like five pounds on like this these pieces um, and then you're just like oh man that's gone forever my money's down the drain whereas now it's got like a little kind of wire attached to it and it just stays on and no if no matter how much you flick it it will not come apart so you can see I just kind of put it in like this you can hear that crunch you can sort of do that and I think that's quite nice huh like you've got like a little more kind of balance to it you know a little distraction you know you have you have your scent like you have your your nice like strawberry scent let's say it's strawberry um and then you know we have our little attachment that you can sort of like use and if you you know to play with because sometimes you know when we're nervous we kind of like use our hands to do something so people do this or this and um, I like the idea of this not being caught in your hair, but at the same time, you can just like do this if you felt like nervous and like play with this a little bit, um, or like take it out, you know, have it in your hand or something. Um, but we have ones that look like cats, and again, it has this kind of like fuzzy thing. So we have like, you know, fuzzy cats. So, you know, if something that reminds you of your cat, we got you. <laughs> we got you, and it looks like a tabby. So we have a blue cat. I'm trying to think if, I, if it was a cartoon that's a blue cat, but there's a blue dog called Blue's Clues when that's the only thing. I don't know. But yeah, blue cat. We have a squiddle here. Got a nice squirrel. Um, again, if you have any memories associated with a squirrel, we got you. It's very controversial in Scotland, but if you know what I'm saying, leave it in the comments below. Um, but again, fits straight on. Okay, I was like, it fits straight on, it's not doing it. It fits straight on, <laughs> right there. I ain't lying, there's no special effects here, there's no glue tabs here. There we go. The freshness, I don't know. Next on the agenda, or the list, um, so this is, again, MDF. No, it's not, Kim, it's plywood. <laughs> nice wood grain here. And it is a bridge under some like nice trees I think and like there's little there's little like um like ducks that's just passing by it's just you know kind of romantic I guess um I've made a, a brooch like this in the past but I just liked it on its own 
Um, again, we've got little rivets here so you can add some things onto it as well. Here's some examples again, like we'll just put like a little, little cute little like flower blossom. Um, we have uh, fuzzy ones as well, same kind of fuzzy material. If you wanted to put one on here, you can do that as well. So it's just like, yeah, little, little things that you can do to make your kind of necklace, neck piece brooch a little bit, a little bit better. And uh, I know it's quite cute, huh? <laughs> it's like, oh. Or, you know, some people like it plain, so you can like take it off. Um, and then same applies, you know, you can, um, has this kind of magnetic back. And then you wear it like this. Clips on like this. And it kind of looks like a medal. Um, but again, it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. <laughs> if anybody knows what that's from, comment below. But yeah, yeah. And it's again, it's like a silver. This is what the back looks like. Yeah, and um, I guess that's all to it, you know? Oh, another piece that I have um, that's part of a sort of like neck piece kind of collection. Um, and it's, I don't know, I think it is revolutionary because we never come up with like necklaces. So it's, we're coming up in the world. We're trying to be a bit more fashionable, you know? Um, so yeah, again, we have another neck piece. It's blue because summer blues but in a good way. Positive blues, positive vibes. You know, blues, blues, blues. Magnets, magnetic back. Clip. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Same thing again, it's a uh, plywood. And uh, it's not too long. That one was kind of long, so this one kind of like rests just, just sort of on your collarbone. Um, but this also depends on how tall you are as well. But yeah, it kind of like rests just here. It's just really nice. Uh, you could wear it to a wedding if you wanted to. Um, and this one, this one's different to all the brooches, uh, to all the brooches, to all the, um, all the necklaces, or just to everything. I've never really coloured any of the silver, um, like frames, shall we say. So this is like the first one. So not only is this the, one of the first revolutionary kind of neck pieces, um, but, you know, it's the first colouring of a frame. Oh. Um, but yeah, so we have here a nice enameled um, silver uh, frame um, and it's again it's kind of like play park kind of details uh, we have the rivets here so you can also attach little um, pieces on let's just use this dog we have a dog you know you may see a dog at a play park so if you do see it this is probably what you're gonna have so yeah there we go dog at a play park <laughs> it became from play park to dog at a play park now. Um, yeah, it's just, there's there's things here as well. Um, I don't know, I think I did it because I thought at one point, you know, I thought I could hang something off of it. But, you know, I've seen people, you know, hang their keys on things. So if you wanted to, you could hang your keys on this. Like, there's no rules that say you, you have to or you don't have to. Like, there's just, I don't know. It looks like a lock anyway, so you might as well just hang your keys if you wanted to. And then uh, I'll show you what the back looks like, just real quick. Um, so yeah, the tubing is also enameled and it's yeah, silver and, well, they're all silver, but this one's just like enameled, um, like this. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. And it's actually quite interesting, like the way it's kind of held together. So you still see like the blue kind of like chain, shall we say, the rope. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, um, like the bigger version, so you like say suppose uh, you ordered that big brooch, it would kind of look like, and and also if if you, I don't know if you were in love with different pieces. I mean I don't imagine someone would do this, but like if you are, I love you so much. Um, but yeah, say suppose someone ordered like a big order of like a brooch and like lots of pieces, it could kind of come like this. Um, so that's like what the packaging is, and that's what you would get. Um, and I just, I don't know, the colours go, like the box colours are just nice. We've got another box, so inside this quite satisfying box you get is your brooch. And uh, this is another um, plain brooch that I've also developed. Um, and again, like laser cut. Um, 
and it's a park again. We've got the slide, a uh, climbing frame. Um, if any memories come back, then great. Um, and again, plywood, laser cup, uh, the back, silver, silver backing. Um, and got the rivets so we can stick you know, the pieces in. Um, and yeah, and uh, we have like so many pieces as well. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them, but it's like, yeah, like it, they're all they're all different. Like um, we have ones like this, so you know you could take it off. Uh, if you've seen my uh, trailer uh, video um, or my, my preview showcase thing, um, it shows me just like sort of playing with this. Um, that wasn't too like these are generally like. You know, riveted together and you know you can do that um, so yeah you could take it off again like what I said take it off and play with it um, you know if you don't feel like you know stuck here so it's just yeah it's just one of those things you can just have it in your hand um, version of a smelly one again has this kind of texture it's fidget spinners I, I, yeah we have this the video but yeah we've got this I think this is quite nice because it reminds you of like like a, the sea, or like the seashore, like a beach, I guess, scene, you know, because you've got the sand and you've got like a little swan. I've never seen a swan at a beach, but there could be, I don't know, um, but I thought that was quite nice. So this one's like kind of like coconut, um, and then we've got like a sort of lavender because it's like purple. Um, we've got orange. Got like could be strawberry. Um, we also have like kind of like a floral scent as well. Just like all these different kinds of, like scents. Like there's so many. Um, but yeah, it, it's all available um, at ktodesigns.com. Um, I will be updating some new uh, little components. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye on it and keep an eye on my Instagram, which is uh, reimagined by Kato Designs. I'll Put that there um, and yeah that'll keep you generally up to date every single day of what's happening with these pieces uh, or if I'm making any keep an eye on my stories just between like this channel my Instagram perfect perfect opportunity to stay in touch and stop what I'm doing so one of my like last couple pieces are I call like the accessories um, and this I think I'm not going to say this is more sellable, but it shamelessly is, but I just, I wanted this to be more of an everyday thing because I know that I've been called out to say that sometimes my pieces aren't like everyday, um, so I kind of dove into that realm, but at the same time keeping the integrity of having conversation, keeping calm and serene like I'm doing just now and not because social media dictated me to do this. Okay. Uh, we have some new earrings um, and they're kind of like flower earrings. I really like these ones actually. So again they have this kind of like fuzzy thing here. Um, they could have smell in them if you desire. Again it is all up to you because the scent is down to you. I just know they don't have a scent because I didn't want to Put any in because um, this these are all everything that I'm doing is all for you guys. It's for like it's all personal, you know. It's all personalized. Um, so it's like you know if you like blueberries, you can have it blueberries. If you like lavender, have it lavender. Like it's just all the smells are on the website. You just pick one. It's like it's it's build a bear. It's like build a bear for jewelry. Like that's my site is essentially build a bear for jewelry. Um, we've got like our mismatched earrings here and they're made of silver and they have the backs look like this and you know we've got kind of cup like this it just fits onto any kind of you know backing if you lose the backing to be honest any backing if butterfly clips the plastic things I don't know what they're called but the the other the non butterfly clips uh, work perfectly fine as well so 
So um, in this series, they're swing, and again, I'm I'm going with the trend of um, mismatch, I guess. But still, context of blue. So these are kind of swing earrings, and they're nice and dangly. These are actually really nice. I think they're kind of fashionable. Again, laser cut wood, um, different spray paints. I don't know. I think this is quite trendy. I can see people walking down the street with these. St uh, sterling silver chain. Um, and it's also like a hook, so it's got like a fish hook again, silver. Um, so yeah, that looks, I think that's quite nice, just have a mismatch um, of these swings. Um, we're doing this other service where, again, it's down to you guys of what you want. So I've made plain ones, um, just in case people like plain ones. Um, so we have, yeah, we've got these plain ones as well, so they're just plain laser cut wood that also looks quite nice like this. Um, and if you want them in a different colour, uh, we have, we've got you there as well, like we have, um, other kind of colours, um, but just, just give me a, like a, a message and, you know, again, I will make it for you and these are not that expensive, they're like £25 and they're pretty good, you can wear this to a wedding or a date or general shopping, I don't know, um, but yeah. I think they're nice. Last but not least, um, I've got a smaller pendant, like even though that, that was the other kind of neck piece that was kind of longer. I wouldn't consider it a pe and that a pendant, that's more of a neck piece, but this, this is a certified pendant. Here we go, got a light, nice long pendant and it's all badass. Um, with, it's all, it's like meets later cut as well. So yeah, again, I think this is really nice, um, nice wee chain, um, and it's like laser cut, it's also got this furry kind of texture as well, again you can have a sniff and has like, I, I've put vanilla on it because I wear this daily, um, but it's again, it's personal preference, um, and it, it makes me feel good, it makes me feel protected, it makes me feel, I don't know, in a nice wee calm bubble, and uh, if I feel you know, kind of insecure, I'll, you know, I wear it and then I smell it and it makes me feel calm and it's, I, I, I made this a couple of months back, it's like one of my first pieces and the, it's still on there, like the smell is still on there, like it's, you can't get rid of that sucker, honestly, it's just like, woof. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on, just put it on like this. And it's just kind of like dangles like this, so you could even like wear this like if you're going shopping, going to a friend's house, like this. And it's just so like it's so tactile, it's just like this, like like what you do with a normal pendant, just like it's like yeah, totally like totally fashionable. So yeah, and it's so sturdy, like definitely. Um, and then the back's like like this. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys um, have enjoyed my unboxing and. Uh, yeah, hopefully um, I'll see you next week. Um, have have a general like look at it, um, and you know just keep up to date with my website as well. And again, what I said before, keep up to date with my Instagram. Um, not only is there jewelry to look at and um, customize, you know we have blogs and keep up with Design 101 because you too can know how to design a piece of jewelry or just to design in general. So that's also there. Um, new blogs is coming this week. Um, I'm just gonna like reprising some of the videos in text form, but yeah, just just keep up to date with that. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching my unboxing, and hopefully I can see you next week for another Design 101, um, I guess, video. So yeah, um, keep being imaginative and keep being inspired. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions and get yourself out there. Um, this is more than three, <laughs> and anyway, yeah, reimagine, just keep, but just generally keep reimagining, always ask why, um, and keep questioning yourself and stay true to yourself and just keep, keep reimagining, stay creative. Okay, see you next week. Bye.